Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today folks, a couple of months ago, I demoed an amp called the Custom SD VR204, made by a British company called Highlight Electronics. And what that head basically was, was the old Highlight HiWatt DR504 circuit in a slightly scaled down format. So it was a 20 watt head rather than 50. It had EL84 power tubes rather than EL34. But it was the essence of that old circuit in a slightly more manageable format. And it really, really impressed me. Now, underneath those very nice leather hand embroidered covers there is that amp's bigger brother, the original circuit that that head was based off. So if we lose those very nice covers, that is the Highlight Custom 50, which is essentially a true to the original 504 circuit. So 50 watts, EL34 power tubes, partridge design transformers, point to point hand wired here in the UK using premium quality components. It really is as good as you can get. Now, Highlight being Highlight, you do get a couple of extra features to make it a touch more modern day friendly in the form of a line out, so you can use it as a DI and with cap sims, should you want to, and also an effects loop. But aside from that, it's very, very true to the original. Now, if you go onto the Highlight website, you'll see that you can choose this head with two different cabinets. The cab it's currently sat on has Fane A60 Alnico speakers in it, because of course those old DR circuits from yesteryear are very closely tied with Fane speakers. But you can also choose the same cab, but loaded with F70 speakers, the ceramics. So just out of camera shot over there, I have a second cabinet with the F70s in. So today we can compare the sound of the VR504 head running through both the A60 Alnico cabinet and the F70 ceramic cabinet. And somewhere in the video, I might try switching the amp into eight ohm mode and run both together. I think that could be a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do today, folks, is just crank the amp up so it's gaining up and it's blistering loud. I might throw a couple of pedals in there because I think how an amp takes pedals in 2022 is very important to know, but most people just want to hear an amp absolutely dimed. So that's what I'm going to focus on. And I'm going to throw a variety of different guitars at it with the amp set to different levels of gain. Because I haven't actually got to spend a huge amount of time with this amp yet. So I'm gonna be learning on the job slightly, but my initial impressions are it's everything I loved about the custom SD head, but just beefed up and sounding absolutely glorious. So I'm looking forward to really getting to know it today. So without further ado, folks, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
folks now please do comment underneath let me know what you thought of the custom 50 today i love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comment section but i'll be honest i think that amp sounds absolutely phenomenal especially in a small room like this a 50 watt amp with the master volume wide open punching you in the back of the head is just a brutal experience i've got a banging headache now having just shot all of that very very loud playing now, as I said in the intro, the custom SD head really impressed me a few months ago, and that amp was a scaled down version of this one. And everything I loved about the custom SD is present and correct in the 504, but there's just more of it, more volume, more transient response, more immediate punch to it. It is brutally loud. So I'm just absolutely loving this amp at the moment. Now, the difference between the two cabs was really interesting. The Alnico cab, the A60s, definitely had a more kind of spongy, relaxed feel under the fingers. It felt a little bit more compressed. Whereas in comparison, the F70 cab, the ceramic speakers, definitely had that kind of upper mid-range snap to them that we associate with ceramic magnets. And also just a really immediate attack. It was like being flicked in the eardrum playing that cab. It was really, really punchy. Now, I didn't use too many pedals today, just a fuzz and a delay and a boost, but it takes pedals really well, so you can use this as a pedal platform should you want it to. And jumping the channels together is really cool too, because you can use the two different voicings and balance them out as a kind of active EQ before you even get into the EQ of the amp. So it's very, very versatile there. But as always, folks, please do let me know your thoughts and opinions. I love chatting with you guys and finding out what you think about everything I demo on this channel. So thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Details of the highlight website are in the description box. Please do go and check this amp out. It is absolutely unbelievable. And please do carry on subscribing. I know I always say it, but it makes a huge difference when you hit subscribe. So thank you for watching folks and I will see you very, very soon. Bye bye.